Are you living in the dark? Or are there areas in your life that are filled with darkness? Welcome to Pathways of Hope. My name is Alvin Fabella. Today, let's reflect on the Gospel of Luke, chapter 8, verses 16 to 18. Light or lamp serve as a very important resource in the ancient times. And now, with our high-tech world, light is still a very important resource for everyone. The Jews considered light as a symbol of inner beauty, of truth, and of the goodness of God. In Psalm 36, it declares that in His light, in God's light, we see light. Light also serves as our guide. It allows us to avoid things that can hurt us. In Psalm 119, it says that your word is a lamp upon my feet, a light that guides my path. There are two things that we can learn in today's gospel. Number one, accept God's light. God's light should shine in every area of our life, especially the areas that are dark, filled with sin, brokenness, pride, hurt. God's light doesn't only brighten our life, but it gives us joy, peace, tranquility. It gives us the capacity to change. It gives us the capacity to overcome the darkness that we face in our lives. John 1, 5 says that light has come into the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. Secondly, Jesus uses the lamp to show to his apostles how they should live their life, that they should be light bearers in this dark world. You and I, we are also called to do the same. We should be light bearers in this dark world. We should always stand by what is true we should always stand by what Jesus taught to everyone. Never turn your back, never change your values, even if the world pressures you to do this. Always follow Jesus Christ, be a light bearer. Two things that we should always remember, accept God's light and be a light bearer in this dark world. If you were inspired by today's episode, why don't you like it and share it to your friends? Tag their names in the comment section below. Help us to be a pathway of hope to others. God bless your week.